combine first. How did that experience go for you? I mean, it was a wonderful, it was a wonderful, um, I had a wonderful time. You know, I gained a lot of knowledge from, you know, vets, NFL vets from there, you know. And um, I gained a lot of relationships from other teams, you know, um, and I met a lot of friends. So it was a great time. All right. How did how do you feel you performed there and, and then turning around and, and performing here? You know, performing there, you know, I could have been smooth. You know, um, just coming back to Pro Day, you know, I improved. I feel like I improved. I had a great day. And, you know, I, um, I did better times than I did at Combine. I feel like, so. What all did you do here and what, what kind of results did you have? I did everything here. You know, um, my results were better, um, as I was told. And um, I just did drills and on um, the 40 at Combine. What's some of the feedback you got at the Combine from teams and, and things they talked to you about? Feedback, you know, um, just... They, um, they talked about they scheme. They went over their scheme, you know. Um, they asked me about my family and friends and how I was as a person and what my teammates think of me. So it went great with teams. You know, I talked to a lot of teams, and we met every day since I was there. Your senior year, how, how were they impressed with the film and what you were able to put on film for them? It was very impressed. You know, they was impressed with my ball skills. You know, over the past year, years at Arkansas, you know, I improved every year, and they was very impressed with my film. The decision for you, uh, I know Sam really wanted you to come back. What tough, tough decision for you to, to go out? Yeah, it was a tough decision. You know, I had to talk to my family and, you know, talk and decide. But I had to go and, you know, that was the best decision for me. So, what did you run in the 40 today? 40. I ran a 4 5. I mean, yes, sir. what you wanted or so? Nah, not really. I wanted to hit four fours, but I'm satisfied. Like, I hit a 4 5, so that's it. Where have you been training and, and who's representing you? Uh, I've trained in Fort Lauderdale at XP with Tony Bellani and Matt Gates. Um, I'm represented by Jake Presser, Milk and Honey. Where do you see yourself projecting at the next level as far as a defensive back? Like, where do you see yourself playing? What team? Position wise. Position wise. Uh, corner, nickel, safety, like anything. You know, I'm willing to do anything. Versatile. So, wherever they need me, I'm, w I'm willing to do anything. So. You think having a little bit of a safety background also in addition to corner will help you? I feel like it, um, that's um, that's my advantage, you know, playing safety. I got history in safety, so if they need me to switch to safety, I feel like I'm just fine. You've well, always been a really strong tackler. Um, does that come up a lot? It's not always something you hear about with cornerbacks. Is that anything that's come up with teams? Yeah, it's just I'm a physical guy. You know, I like that. I, I enjoy tackling, you know, being physical. So a lot of teams tell me about that, and I enjoy it. I was going to ask you about Day Day. What's what's Day Day got left to show here? Man, he got a lot to show. You know, I, I talk to him daily and just um, encourage him every day. You know, to go his best and do his best on the field and in school. What's been the day to day like? Trey was kind of talking about the sleeping, the eating, the hard parts that maybe some people don't know about. What have you taken away from those aspects? You know, you definitely got to eat right. You know, you got to get sleep, man. You can't stay up all night playing video games or anything. You got to sacrifice a lot of things. So. You know, you got to eat right and get your sleep when you can. You know, any chance you can, take a nap or anything. You know, it's very important. And it, it, it um, you know, it, it affects your performance. What have you learned about yourself through this process so far? You know, um, when you face adversity, you know, just keep going. You know, it's going to be ups and downs, you know, but just keep going and keep working. What was your career like here at Arkansas from the way things started out here and, and the way things ended here on a high note? You no, know, coming in, we didn't have a we didn't have a great I mean, we didn't have a great team, you know. The culture was kinda an issue, you know, but over the years and having Pitt and the to um everybody believed in him, you know, trusted him and his game plan and getting a guy like Odom, Coach um Sam, Carter, you know, just having those guys, man, and improve and make a big impact on the guys and we believed in their plan. So we're running through, we're gonna run through a brick wall for Sam Pittman, man. That's the type of guy, you know, just keeping the chip on our shoulder and blue collar mentality. So he was a great coach and I'm I'm blessed to have him my past two years. So he's a great coach.